What's up, people? Chug Life Media here, back again um, with a little Bay Area special. Went down to Hardly Strictly Bluegrass. Shout outs to Erle Lico. I saw your video where you were actually at the same stage as me. I didn't see you. If I did, I might have been like, hey, what's up? Or something, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> St. Ides. It's a uh, Bay Area special. It's um, a badass fucking brew. It's not to be fucked with, but I'm going to fuck with it right now. It's uh, a higher percentage than Steel Reserve is, or High Gravity Lager. They're both 8.1, I believe, and this is 8.2. Um, it's a high gravity malt liquor, is what it is. It says so, right on the label. So, uh... Basically, I haven't made a video in a while because I've been working at 7-Eleven a lot, but they cut my hours, so I'll be making more videos. Uh, yep. They don't sell a lot of beer up here in uh, Lake Tahoe, so I don't have many choices. I got Mickey's, Colt 45, uh, Old English, King Cobra. That's pretty much all the malts I can get that I can think of right now. Yep. But uh, down the bay, I can get a Sainides, I can get a Magnum, I could get a fucking country club, whatever. Whatever I want, I could get it. But unfortunately, up here, it's pretty limited. And I broke my hand the other day, so I didn't break it, that's a lie. But I severely fractured it about four days ago. I was drunk at a bar. Here's a funny story for you, and um, I'm not going to say why, it was a really dumb reason, but uh got angry, punched a wall, didn't realize the wall was made of cement. Poor decision. I wouldn't suggest punching walls no matter what, especially when you're drunk, it's just, but I was fucking blacked out, wasted at the bar. Sometimes you make mistakes. Anyways, on with the video. I'm going to have to crack it with my left hand. Oh, I'm going to have to crack it with my teeth. It's really on there. Sometimes the, sometimes the teeth crack is necessary. I've seen everyone do it at least once, probably. Sometimes that motherfucker just won't get off the top of it. The only thing that's going to get it off is to go back to your animal instincts and bite that shit and rip it off like an animal. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna play some music real quick. Holy fuck, I haven't had a St. Ides in so long. It's, it was not the best decision for me to crack this at 11. <coughs> 11 o'clock a.m. Holy shit. Oh. It's good. It has a nice fucking malt flavor. It's just intense. It's 8.2. Too. How can it not be intense? There's no doubting when you drink this shit that you're getting fucked up. Probably not going to finish this on camera, but I'm still going to post the video because I haven't made one in so long. I am, however, going to finish this. It's fucking ice cold. It's the only way to really drink St. Ides.
I don't know if you guys have been watching football. I have. Um, it's been a pretty good season thus far. I live in, um, well, I used to live in the Bay Area, now I live in Tahoe, but my favorite team is the Niners, and they've just been kicking fucking ass. And it's been awesome. Um, saw some some funny shit go down this year, some bad calls, because some of these refs are fucking, like, high school refs, not even joking. Um... Yeah, some funny shit's been going down. That that Jennings call, that Green Bay versus uh, Seahawks, it was the worst call ever. Whatever. You know what song I should have played, which I'm going to play right now. If I can find the song, here we go. For jumping around so much, but uh, I had to say something. I just remembered, forty ounce fear. I don't know if he's uh, if you've watched his videos, but he made this one video that was like, "What do you think is the most?" Or uh, God, I can't even remember the exact question, but basically, what is the most like influential forty? Um, that's not the word I'm looking for, but. Anyways, I'll just tell you about it. He basically goes in to tell you about how Sanides, they uh, had a marketing strategy with with uh, gangster rappers. And what they did was they had all the main rappers, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, Wu-Tang, uh, Scarface, I believe, was on there. You got uh, a couple more, even. <coughs> and they all signed with Sanides to make a couple jingles and a couple songs. Well, they're not so much jingles as just gangster rap songs that uh, that appealed to the ghettos, and they were mainly trying to sell sell it to the ghettos. And uh, I don't remember the whole video. I only watched it once. Forty on Sphere. I apologize. You guys should watch his videos if you have not. He's by far the uh, most educational <laughs> videos I've I've seen. He tells me some shit that just blows my mind about malt liquor and other drinks and the stuff behind it, the meaning. I actually just recently got in an argument with somebody. One second, let me take a poll. So I'm at this party. Wow, this is fucking intense shit. Woo. Say nights. Foamy burps. Anyway, got in a little bit of an argument. This guy at a party because I had a forty of malt liquor. And he goes, "That, that's not even beer, man." They do like a different. It's like a. They they literally thought that they did some process with malts, where it was no longer a beer and it was just a, like a liquor, like a really low percentage liquor. I'm looking at these guys like, you guys are fucking idiots. If only you knew how many videos I've been watching, <laughs> how much information I've been obtaining with malt liquor. And, uh, 
I just I just laid down the facts. I said, hey, the only reason that it's fucking called malt liquor is because they put it on the bottle. If it's not on the bottle, they were they were trying to tell me all this other fucking shit's malt liquor that's not malt liquor, like high gravity lager they thought was malt liquor, and a lot of other shit that is a common mistake. And I wasn't like yelling at them or anything. I was just like, hey, look, this is what's the truth and. I had about three guys on me, all telling me that I was a liar about it, which can be kind of frustrating, but I made enough points to where I feel like they kind of understood by the end of it that I was right. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm in 11 minutes. This is going to be a long video. I'm going to go all the way to 15. And then I'll cut it. I'm, I'm not going to finish it because I'm only halfway. It's just, it's 11 in the morning. I shouldn't have tried to make a video this early. But for those of you that like my videos, like Rugby721, shout outs to you. Hopefully you enjoy it. You know, hopefully you watch it and get something out of it. That's the only reason why I watch these videos is because... I don't know, it's more, it's kind of, it's real, you know, people are just drinking a beer, telling a couple of stories, you know, I don't know, it's cool, I dig it, and a lot of people don't dig it, I've gotten a lot of shit from uh, people <coughs> that just um, don't understand why I watch drinking videos or whatever, and um, it's just because, I don't know, it's I mean, you guys get it. You guys are watching it. You guys understand. It's just like, we could watch anything we want. We have the fucking internet. We have YouTube. We've got lives and shit going on. But we, we realize that, uh, or maybe we don't realize, but we just enjoy watching some other people enjoy some, some malts that we enjoy. You get some stories, meet some people. Yeah basically what it is to me. Say nice. <sighs> She's just fucking intense. I feel I feel drunk already. And I'm only halfway in. It is 11.20 in the morning right now. I just looked at the clock. It was 11 when I started it. That's how long this fucking video is. Oh, man. St. Ides. One hell of a beer. The next video I make, I'm going to make it a quick one for you guys. And I'm going to make sure I got some food in my stomach. It's not first thing in the morning. I just wake up, roll out of bed, and make a video. I'm going to make a speed video, I'm calling it out right now, and I'm also calling out that I'm going to make it, it's Wednesday today, I'm making it in the next couple of days. Next couple of days I will, I'm going to hammer it out, maybe even tonight, maybe even later on today, I'll just feel good after some food, hammer one down, post it. Because uh, I've been watching, who's been killing it? 40 ounce malt 23. You've been one of my number one fucking... Uh, commenters and viewer and all that. And recently, you just fucking started killing it, dude. You did the 800 club in seven minutes. You look like you're fucking 140 pounds, dude. Like, you're a skinny-ass motherfucker, and I can't believe that you are pounding down the 800 club like that. That, cheers to you. Serious props. That shit is not easy. I've tried it before. Didn't post the video. I got one down and got the other one about here. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. If I drink any more, I'm going to puke. <sighs> Woo. Alright. Wait, 15 minutes. So I have to cut it. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.